First of all, we've got interface changes. Um, number one on our list is the change to the grid. Uh, as you can see, it's changed quite a bit. It used to be based around these kind of little dots, these points. It has now moved in a very positive direction uh, towards grid drafting paper. Um, looks very much more familiar, I'm sure, to a lot of you. We've also got um, our X and Y axes indicated in red and green, running away from the origin point of the drawing. We can turn our grid on and off just as we normally would have. Uh, okay, so moving along, we've got next up our ribbon changes. So cycling through ribbon states, uh, we've got a new ribbon state that's been introduced in 2011, and that is the button ribbon state, uh, which is illustrated here. Uh, also quite useful, we have the ability to jump to our ribbon state. So instead of cycling through ribbon states, uh, we can choose which ribbon state we would like to jump to uh, instead of cycling through. Uh, second for the ribbon in terms of changes and improvements are these things called folding panels. If I just switch to this tab here, uh, we have a kind of customized tab on the left um, and this is what we call a folding panel. And how it works is as you can see this is uh, got three tools on it, all quite small. Uh, if I drag this text panel off the ribbon, you can see that our XITech panel expands to fill the gap left by removal of the text panel. Um, and this is the basically the behavior that we can use um, when using a folding panel. Uh, if I send that back to the ribbon, you can see it retreats back and now we have these small tools again. Uh, above the ribbon we've got our quick access toolbar which has been changed to include our workspaces as standard. We've got our workspace switcher up in there. Uh, so if I switch to 3D modeling for example, I'm just going to get rid of our material browser, also a new change. Bang, get rid of that. Okay. Um, what I want to talk about now is uh, the visual styles that have been added into AutoCAD 2011. Um, so I think we had three or four um, in 2010. Uh, we've got quite a few more than that uh, available in 2011. So if I click on here, we have all of these available as standard. Um, so if I, for instance, um, choose X-Ray, which I'm currently in, um, and I'm just going to zoom in and 3D orbit around. You can see the advantages of the visual style. I can see through all of my solid objects. I can switch to, say, for instance, Sketchy, um, which gives us that kind of sketch look. If we're in the plan view, um, we can see the kind of advantages that this provides. Okay, um, so we've got a few visual styles to choose from. If I switch to a 2D plan view, um, what's interesting about this is uh, the navigation wheel. That, um, what's interesting about this is the view cube is still here. Now normally that wouldn't occur. Uh, what's changed in 2011 is the view cube is available no matter what visual style you're in. Usually you would have had to have been in a 3D visual style to see the view cube. Uh, it's not really the case anymore. Uh, and continue with that navigation theme. Uh, we used to have our pan, zoom, and show motion, etc., down on our status bar. Um, they've just been thrown up near the view cube on the right hand side. Uh, so we now have a bit of a navigation hotspot on the right hand side of the screen.